What's up everybody, welcome to the Poke Rage channel and today we're going to be discussing the new subset from the Scarlet and Violet trading card uh, set, the Triple B set. Um, as of today, uh, March 10th, they just released it over in Japan and they got some pretty exciting artwork and I'm here just to discuss my thoughts on the set and where the Scarlet and Violet era can go from here. Um, but before we begin, uh, please, if you could, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and let me know your thoughts on the new Triple Beat set. So yeah, uh, as I said, the new Triple Beat set dropped today, and it's got some uh, pretty awesome cards in it. Um, but I don't know what's going on lately, but for some reason, the price of the Japanese booster box has not skyrocketed, but it's jumped up a lot. So over in Japan, usually a typical booster box goes for about $50, $50 at most, I think. Because um, it's about like, you know, $2 a pack. Because usually they only come with five cards. I think with a special set, it's around uh, $50. Um, but yeah, so I think this started to happen around V-Star Universe. So that, I mean, honest, honestly, when V-Star Universe first came out, I did buy a couple boxes, which, you know, you've seen on this channel. And for some reason, I think that just kind of sparked the rise in everyone buying booster boxes now. It just seems harder and harder to get. Um, I think with V-Star though, the problem was they said there was going to be a shortage of the set, like they weren't printing anything. And then I feel like that just kind of didn't happen and or everyone bought out the stock. But I think, you know, I talked to one of my suppliers and he said that you know, he's going to be getting more cases in of that, so... Anyway, but with the Triple Beat set, I think, like I said, more and more people are buying the Japanese booster boxes, which makes them harder to get, hence the rise. And right now, I've seen them going for around $135, which is kind of a lot. I mean, think of that's more than double of what they would go for over in Japan. Um, but they do have some pretty awesome secret rares, and I did... <laughs> I told myself I wasn't going to buy any more uh, Japanese booster boxes, but I couldn't help myself. So <laughs> I should be getting one next week and I probably will be, I mean, I definitely will be opening it up on a channel. So make sure you guys, like I said, subscribe and then you can watch me hopefully and hopefully we can pull one of the best cards out of that set. So the one weird thing I found from the Scarlet and Violet booster boxes from Japan is that they didn't have the starter Pokemon in the actual set. Now, I, I feel like normally here in the US, you know, you, you, you get we're going to get the Scarlet and Violet set, base set, and it's going to come with, you know, the starters. But for some reason in Japan, they didn't have that. But I guess I maybe I don't know what it was. I don't know what the reason is, but now we're going to be getting all of those. Again, I don't know what the reasoning is for, for waiting on this. I, it's just kind of weird to me, but we do get some pretty awesome artwork, artwork with these, and I can maybe understand why these boxers are going for what they're going for. So I'm gonna go over my top cards, I guess, from, the, from this triple beat set. Um, I, I mean, I'm going for, I'm going with, you know, money value as, and as well as what I think is the best looking cards on this. Um, so I'm going to start off, I think everyone, the first, one of the first cards we saw was the Magikarp art rare that's coming out. Um, I saw that it's the same illustrator as Giratina. And if you look at the cards next to each other, it's pretty clear that the same guy made the same illustration. There's a lot going on with the picture. Um, it's right dead center of the Pokemon is, and there's a lot of different colors going on with it, just like the Garatina. Um, now that card is going for, I looked it up, about $25, so it's not too expensive. Um, but it is a pretty cool card to have in your collection, so that is what it is. So after Magikarp, um, I'm going to go over the art sets, because obviously in the Scarlet and Violet, base set we had the Gardevoir art set and they did that with the starting Pokemon which I think is a cool idea you don't really normally see that um, but I'm gonna kind of go in order as to what my favorite is and I or least favorite to favorite and I think I'm gonna start off with the the Fue Coco ones um, 
The Foy Coco and the Quaxi ones are pretty similar, um, but I think, I mean, I didn't, I don't really care for Foy Coco all that much. Honestly, I, I picked Quaxley. Um, but yeah, he's, you know, they're good looking cards. Don't get me wrong. Like I have absolutely no problem with the cards. It's between that and uh, Crocolore, there's not much of a difference. Um, and I'll talk about that when I go over Quaxley as well. Um, this, you know, they're both in the store, they're just, you know, picking food or whatever, and it's a very similar idea. And then when you get to Skeledurge, he's just kind of out in the open, he's, he's not, like I said, he's not there, he's hidden behind things. Um, so, but again, they're all beautiful cards, I would love to have them, but not my favorite. So very similar to the Fue Coco cards and the Crocolore cards. Uh, Quaxley and Quaxwell, again, they didn't really change much with these. And honestly, I don't know why they wouldn't go all out with if they're already trying to do that. Um, you can see that they're, all three of them, even all three of them are in the mirror. Like there's not much. It's like they kept the same, you know, illustration in front or whatever but they just you know made them evolve into each form and then i just i didn't i don't understand what their um thought process was like why not go out why not make this one of the best looking cards in the set i mean it's the starter pokemon this is what you want this is what people want to you know have you know you everyone everyone's different you know you picked what you want and you know, I, I just figured, you know, since they are new, why not make them stand out more? Why not have them pop? So as I said, it was kind of hard for me to choose between the Foy Coco and the Quaxley evolutionary story. Um, the only reason I like Quackavale a little bit more than Skeledurge is because he's more prominent in the picture where, like I said, Skeledurge is in the back. So that's why I went with Quackavale over that. And as much as I hate to admit this, um, the Sprigatito art set is probably one of the best um, art sets that you can see. Um, and with the art set, you can see that the um, the it's just there's a lot more vibrant colors going on with with the photos. Um, I think I'm not a, I'm not a cat person. I, I don't care for it. I'm sure we're gonna get a lot of flack for that. But honestly, these are the best looking cards. And then when, and then you can see too, like it's, it starts off with a small tree or whatever, and then it slowly grows as the uh, Pokemon evolves. Where then Meowskareta is probably the best one, honestly, I think in this entire set. Um, I think it has a lot more going for it. It just looks honestly the best looking card. So the most valuable cards in this set, which I don't get, um, is the Dendra Secret Rare and the Dendra Secret Art Rare. Uh, I don't see why. Um, I mean, I think I almost wanna say that the Secret Rare looks a little better than the Secret Art Rare. And my only guess as to why the Secret Art Rare is so popular is the whole waifu thing right she's she's drinking out of a water fountain i don't know what that sparks in somebody i don't know what's going on in their heads but i mean i don't think it's the best designed card in this set i mean it's just it's just her face very close up and honestly god it took me like three or four tries to figure out what was actually going on in this card but i've been looking on ebay and those cards respectively are like 350 dollars to like no shit $1,200 people are trying to sell this card for. Now, I'm sure as the you know, set goes on, it's gonna drop in value. Yeah, so the, the Dendra card, it seems to follow suit. Like the Miriam card from the uh, Violet base set, it's going for a lot of money. Uh, Miriam is still around like $700 to $800, which I, I mean, I can understand maybe the Miriam alternate art one because I feel like that has a lot more going on. Redendra is just very close up and it seems very crowded to me. I'm not the biggest fan, but you know, it's not up to me. It's up to the entire Pokemon community and what they like. And 
I, my only hope is to ever pull that card. I'm getting one box of Triple B, that's it. And if I was to pull that card, I'd be the happiest guy here. I wouldn't even know what to do with myself. But, you know, we'll see. And then hopefully these cards are all incorporated in the base set um, for Scarlet and Violet. I mean, that'd be a pretty big set, but, you know, it wouldn't be unheard of for Pokemon. Pokemon had pretty large sets earlier in the past. So, uh, those are my thoughts on this set. Uh, like I said, let me know what you guys are going to do with this. Are you going to pick up a booster box if you can? Or are you going to wait until the English version comes out? Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.